Yeah, it looks like the summer is finally over. It's uh, starting to get a little bit wintry down this way in Devon. And uh, thoughts turn to these tires on the motorhome, which I've been running my aluminium ones on the Fiat for uh, the summer, a few months, not that much. We did the Welsh trip. So now I'm thinking as the winter approaches, I needed to get these agilities, got these Michelin agilities that uh, I've done a fair bit of time now. The date stamp on these, I'm just looking for the date stamp on these, which is... So, yeah, so these actual tires were manufactured on the 43rd week of the year 15. So these are now about six years old. Yeah, we've noticed, we've just noticed on these tires now, these are the Agilis Alpin, and they've just started to got these tiny cracks appearing around here. I don't think it's anything too serious. And what I'm but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these off and we're gonna fit our new winter tires to these wheels. I've already done two to be fair, I didn't film it, but uh, I've already got two mounted which um, we're gonna show you guys later on. But uh, these ones here are gonna be coming off now. And we're gonna I think they've still got approximately so look, they've still got approximately, what's that got on there? That has literally got on there about six, still six mil of tread depth left. About six mil of tread depth left, which is a bit of a shame really, but uh, we, it's just come to the time where we fancied a bit of a change, try something new, but uh, they're really good. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna um, get these off. I'm gonna, these are the last two that I've got to take off now. And then the um, four will go on eBay. I'm gonna see if I can flog them off because someone might want them as a bit of a gash set or something. Soap around the bead there. Oh, not around there. I just want a little bit around the other side.
broken the bead right the way round now. The tyre sits on the rim. So now it's just a case of peeling the tyre away from the rim with a couple of tyre irons. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to just put a little bit of cardboard in there just to protect the rim. Pull that one up. For the rim completely broken away. We get this side of the rim now. Pull that down. Yeah, so lastly, now I've got the tyre off the rim and be all ready to remount the new ones on these rims. And it's all looking pretty good. So I just wanted to show you guys that. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's nothing too tearing, really, just a couple of tyre irons. The worst, probably the worst thing about this job is breaking that bead. You can get a little, like, kind of bolster bead breaker if you did you know like I say most people go to a tire shop but I'm just showing the demonstration is how I change my wheels I like to uh, change my wheels look after my wheels best I can and uh Oh, you're waiting for me to change this wheel. Hang on, two seconds, I'm back with you. I'll put this beer to one side. Let's get back to the video. So what are we doing? We are taking the aluminium wheels off and putting the steel ones back on. It's getting a little bit autumn now, and I got a bit excited, to say the least, because I thought, ooh, it's getting a little bit autumn -y. I can get these bad boy wheels on. So uh, I'm putting some different tires on this thing, and uh, these are coming off. Autumn is around the corner, winter is around the corner, so here we go. So I've got these chrome caps on here, you get this little tiny key with these chrome caps. And you just give them a little tug. So now all these, uh, all these caps will be coming off. Great for just protecting the nut, keep the dirt out. I haven't had these wheels on that long. 
be honest. But hey ho, there we go. But uh, pr preservation again for the alleys. Then go back to my super duper wheel brace. 21 mil impact. Hopefully my uh, audio might be a little bit better now because I've got my little sponge back on me GoPro which is quite handy so hopefully like I say you can probably hear a little bit better what I'm saying. Um, so yeah under, basically under the vehicle I carry a little tiny bit of rubber that I put between the spring and the top of this jack so I'm just going to wind that up a little bit there. There's the bottle jack we're just going to lock off the valve on the base of the jack so he's ready to jack up and then that bit of rubber in between the spring and off we go jack up there yeah that little bit of rubber just sort of takes away just gives it a little bit of uh, anti-slip Metal to metal is never that brilliant, so I just chuck that in. Always kept in the back. That bottle jack now is catching back up. So we're just jacking her up now. Obviously clack, cracked off the wheel nuts. While we're on the subject of the old Fiat and stuff, and these burstners and stuff, the old spare, it always comes up with these spare wheel issues. Uh, people carrying spare wheels. There's my spare wheel that's under slung. It's, it's all wrapped up. I've got to, I'm gonna drop it down. That is gonna be a future video actually. I'm gonna drop it down and show you guys how I've fitted this Fiat. This comes from uh, Fiat, this uh, little wheel winch. So it just takes your wheel up and underneath out of the way. Just saves you so much space instead of carrying one in the garage and stuff under slung that keeps the uh, center of gravity really low as well on the vehicle so right, I'm gonna take her up I'm gonna take her fairly well off the ground because the wheels I'm putting on with these new tires are fairly fairly chunky so I'm gonna need that extra height to get the wheel back on. Right, we'll leave him about there. That's going to give me plenty of clearance. Back again with the brace, just to slacken these off. be doing the next couple of days is cleaning all the inside of these up before they go back in for uh, storage. Right guys this is a really exciting bit. Check this out. Just gonna use that jack bar. There's a dowel there, there's a dowel there, I think the dowel, let's just check them dowels, there's another little dowel there. Yeah, just get these dowels lined up, there's one, and yes, there's the dowel. 
both on the pins. Back on with the wheel nuts. This is looking nice. Happy with this. So we're replacing the Agilises with these BF Goodridge all-terrain KO2s. And they look pretty darn impressive. I'm just going to put them back on there like that. Oh, he's forgotten something. He's getting overexcited. We have So basically, we've got to take these out. Getting overexcited. Getting overexcited. <laughs> Definitely getting overexcited. Whoa, these are so badass. Take that one back out. Leave that one in there. Back out. That one back out. That goes on like that. Take that one back out. there. The wheel's not going to move at the moment because the handbrake's on so I can whack them up fairly well. But what I'll do then is let it down onto the ground and just double check them. There she goes. That is looking good. Back down on the ground now. So I'm just going to nip these up. do is uh, after the first run I'll just give them a re, a re check just to make sure but they're fine they're not going anywhere absolutely next little thing after that is we leave the chrome caps off now and we put these little black ones on just to finish off That is the icing on the cake. That is pretty cool. It's pretty damn cool. Yep. Yeah, so what I thought I'd uh, do is just check out these chains to make sure everything's tickety-boo. I haven't had them out for a long time. So, <clears throat> got the Thule chains all uh, fitted up onto the, the wheel just to make sure it's um, just to familiar myself really. I haven't done it for a while. So yeah, it's all pretty simple. And this has got like an automatic tensioner on it. So when you uh, drive, it automatically um, clicks up with a tension on across there keep the tension on the uh, the chain so uh, there they are looking really sweet on these uh, super slick wheels and tires 
the all terrain. There we go. Amazing. That's a good job done. We're happy. I'm happy. <laughs> Very happy. They look so nice and they are going to be absolutely awesome in the winter. And this afternoon, now, as a few of you might have known, oh, we've got an, our, our car dog is on duty. Back there, Bruno in the Bursner, Bruno Bursner. And uh, yeah, we um, this afternoon we had to drop Noah back uh, home because he's been down for us with a week, as you'd probably know if you watched previous videos last week, the magnet fishing and whatever. So uh, anyway, on the way up, so we've been uh, talking about what we're going to do in the, uh, uh, maybe in the uh, Christmas period, getting a little bit excited about that, sort of like maybe some snowy weather and stuff. And uh, anyway, uh, as you know, when we were up heading on Thames, uh, the other day we joined the caravan club caravan and motorhome club so um they looked after us really well and uh we are now on the way up we were talking about sort of like uh, we did look the other night about going up to edinburgh scotland back up north so uh, i said to caroline i said right okay give them a ring so we gave them a ring and uh how hospital are they Unbelievable. So we spoke to the guy up at um, Edinburgh uh, Caravan and uh, Motorhome Club this afternoon and booked in the Christmas period in Edinburgh. So we are majorly excited about that. Absolutely. So uh, yes, there's a lot to do up there. And uh, yeah, so it's kind of like I'm tr trying to just build a bit of an itinerary together now. We're going to start building a bit of an itinerary and uh, we're going to spend, uh, uh, I think we're going to go have like Christmas um, Eve up there, Christmas Day, um, and depart on Boxing Day, so it should be a nice little uh, adventure developing. And uh, yeah, we're super excited about that. I want, we wanted to go to Edinburgh um, prior uh, the COVID thing. We were planning, a, we were doing this trip to Scotland, and it was included in Edinburgh. But uh, obviously, when we went in May, it was still a bit uh, iffy going to the like, cities and stuff. But uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, if things, um, you know do pan out and uh, we do make it up there and it's going to be majorly exciting so we have got one super exciting winter road trip and i'm hoping to get up in the mountains again check out these bloody tires get them going and a bit of like yeah dodgy can do hey thank you uh, for watching this video if you've watched it um if you just come across this video and like our channel hit the subscribe button hit the like ask questions comment do whatever you want to do we're always up for um trying to answer as many questions as we can and uh stay lucky we'll see you soon take it easy